No, that is not your water coming to a boil. It's our nightly checkup on the Something for Nothing crowd. It's tea time, and as promised earlier tonight, the tweet of the day moves here from Mr. Universe. Why did the chicken cross the road? Sue Loudon had a doctor's appointment. There is actually Sue Loudon news. Your chicken bartering would-be Republican senator from Nevada that has nothing to do with chickens, maybe metaphorically. Of late, Loudon has been busy with her conservative rival, Sharon Angle. Angle announced, quote, I am the Tea Party. Loudon is trying to prove she actually is a Scientologist. During this, a reporter from Politico asked Loudon if she agreed with Kentucky's RAND, I am the Tea Party, Paul, that the Civil Rights Act and related laws should not apply to private businesses. She wouldn't answer, saying, I have no idea what another candidate says. So now, she's gone back on TV in Las Vegas with the same interviewer who previously caught her lying about what she had previously said about bartering for health care, John Ralston. Okay, then I answer the question that he asked you. Do you think that Rand Paul is right, that the Civil Rights Act should not extend into private businesses? You should be able to and, tell and this them. Is, this is what I say. I'm, I'm more interested in what we're doing here in Nevada. It's I a simple question. I ha it's a simple question, but it's a gotcha question. And frankly, I, ha I wouldn't even know Rand Paul if I saw him on I'm TV. I'm not asking about Rand Paul. I haven't been watching that race. Do you think I the Civil Rights Act should apply I to private businesses? I think you want to change the subject from what's really happening here. Nobody's asking that question, John. So you're not going to answer Nobody, it? No. Okay. After the thing, Loudon issued a statement saying, after reviewing the comments and news stories from Kentucky, I want voters to know that I strongly support all aspects of the Civil Rights Act, just as I strongly believe it applies to my private business and all others. My focus has been on campaigning here in Nevada, and therefore I have not paid close attention to races outside of our state. This raises two further questions. A, why didn't she just say that in the interview? And B, maybe more importantly, why does she keep going on this guy's show? And C, how many times can one candidate self-destruct on camera?